For futures in focus and oil trying to rebound today, making a big effort after a dramatic plunge yesterday. Joining us from the CBOE is Todd Horowitz, Chief Strategist at Bubba Trading. Todd, we'll begin on oil. We'll get to interest rate and, and Fed funds futures in a moment. But why this reversal? We see stockpiles are there and also there's a potential now for extending that OPEC agreement. So you would imagine that oil would just plummet and stay lower. <laughs> Good morning, Bonnie. Well, you know, again, oil is, is well overvalued, in my opinion, at these levels. There's way too much supply. There's, there's not really enough demand. And if you, if you throw into that we have more fuel efficiency now, we don't have that more, much more of a demand coming. And, of course, you know, now that we've seen retail, say, you know, retail stores start closing down, there's not as much need for driving. So even though we're going into the driving season, I'm looking for oil to go into the low 40s when this is all done. Now, again, 53, 55 are the upside resistance levels. Once we break through 50, I think we go right to 47 and test that, last, that most recent low we made last time. So what's holding it above 50? Because we're still, right now, even on all that news, at $50.61. Well, you know, you've got a lot of speculators trying to hope, hold on to OPEC. You've got a lot of people that are believing that we may actually see some growth. There's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff pushing it higher, but really you're, you're, you're holding it up artificially, very similar to the markets themselves. I mean, you're seeing markets being held up with no real potential of the growth, the tax cuts, and all the things that we're, we're looking for to make this economy start to click back again. So I, I think you're seeing more of an imaginary hold here. And then move on to some of the other uh, platforms that you're trading on today, Todd. What are traders doing when it comes to euro dollar, for example, or Fed fund futures? Well, I think what you're seeing is, you know, although the Fed says that they're going to raise rates and although everything appears that they're going to raise rates, the bonds continue to go higher, although they're a little bit lower today, indicating that, you know, there's a little bit of a battle going on between the fixed income traders and the Federal Reserve. And I think that this is going to be come down to a key decision. But what we're really seeing here is the yield curve, the twos, the twos, the tens are indicating that there's a slowdown coming. So we've got a lot of problems out here that even though we on the surface want to push them away, have not really been solved. And until we can solve the debt problems and everything else, we're not going to see real, a lot of real growth here. Talk to us a little bit about gold, Todd, because we're at 1282.55 an ounce now, holding at that higher level. Why buy gold when you could stay in cash? What's the advantage of holding gold? Well, I mean, gold is a hard asset that, that will not be manipulated by the Federal Reserve. They, they, they don't take the money away from you by reducing its value. They don't try to create inflation. So I think gold is a great hard asset to own. And I think one of the things you're starting to see throughout the country, especially a lot of the smaller spots, is the elimination of cash. So people want to start to hold gold and things like Bitcoin, alternative currencies, because the, the central banks have too much control and too much manipulation over the, over the fiat currencies. But if anything, they're getting out of it now. We're talking about balance sheet unwind. I even saw the, the, the word QT, quantitative tightening today from Peter Bookfar. So you'd imagine that maybe cash would be a better option, no? You know, I, I think that cash is, is, is going to be uh, a thing of the past one of these days. I think you can see that going on. So when we look at the whole picture, sure. I don't think it looks real good until we can get some real true growth and see the plans and the things coming back.